Hi guys, welcome to our video 1.8, Electron Energy States. So, so far, what we learned is that electrons are in shells, and each shell has a different amount of energy. Electrons tend to fill up the lower shells first, before the outer shells. Okay? <clears throat> All right, so what we're going to talk about now is ground state electron versus excited state electrons. Now, electrons usually occupy the lowest possible energy level, like we talked about. That's referred to as the ground state. So when you're on the ground, that's the lowest possible energy. And that's the electron configuration that's shown on the periodic table. So these numbers in the lower left corner of each box is the ground state electron configuration. Now the ones closer to the nucleus, the lower levels, have lower energy. As you get further from the nucleus, you get higher energy. Okay, so lower becoming higher energy, higher energy, etc., etc. Now what can happen is this: electrons just like small children, can get excited. When they get excited, they jump around. So an electron here on a lower level can get excited and jump up to a higher level. All right, It can jump up one level, two levels, however many there are. So they can jump from a lower level to a higher level. But what goes up must come down, and it eventually falls back down to its level. All right, so electrons can become excited. They do so when they absorb energy. An electron absorbs energy, it jumps to a higher level. That's said to be an excited state. And that's not shown on the periodic table. So we have to learn how to figure out what an excited state is. So let's say we see carbon and we're given an electron configuration of 1-5. Well, it has six electrons, just like carbon, but it's not the ground state. One of these electrons jumped up to here. So here's the ground state for carbon. One of these two jumped up. So now we have one here, but five here. That's an excited state configuration. Well, an excited electron is unstable. So basically wants to drop back to the ground state. So when you put energy in, right, the electron jumps up, but it's going to fall back down. Now when it does that, a specific amount of energy is released. And this energy is released as what's called a photon of light. Now each element, when this light is released, okay, it's released at certain wavelengths. The reason being, since these energy levels are in specific places, right, when the electron falls from here to here, specific amount of energy being released, so it's going to release or emit a very specific kind of light. Okay? And it has a, a characteristic bright line spectrum. So let's look at one. Here's what we have. This is the full EM spectrum, kind of like a rainbow. That's where the colors of the rainbow come from. This is what's called an absorption spectrum. So when we put energy into this carbon, okay, and the electrons get excited, it's going to absorb energy at these specific wavelengths. So this is the absorption. You're not going to see this too often. What you're going to really see is the emission spectrum. When the electron falls back down, energy is emitted as light. And these specific wavelengths of energy is, are emitted. Okay, And this is kind of like a fingerprint. Write that down. Fingerprint used to identify the element. Each element, because it has 
a certain number of electrons in a certain configuration is going to have its very distinctive emission spectrum. We're going to do a lab in class where we can see this. Okay? And this can be used to identify our element. All right, question time. Okay? So, to be ground state, they have to be filled in the correct order. And generally, the order is 2, then 8, then 8, and on. So if you have something in a fourth shell, or if you have two, s seven, four, where we don't have eight here, but we have electrons here, that will be excited. So ground state is being filled in order. Not being filled in order is excited. Now when it says give a possible example, it can be anything. So if you have for example, lithium is 2, 1, ground state. An excited state could be 1, 1, 1. It could be 1, 2. Any possibility or combination. Okay? And the others are just going to be right out of the notes or what I told you. All right, that brings us to the end, and I'll see you guys at school.